I'm Steve, welcome to my shop and to Ferry Cool Stuff. It's been a while since I've posted a video. It's locked down, or it's just easy now to lock down now. On this week's show, we're going to be making a Japanese style side table. My own design. And we'll see how it goes. Started a design for a, a small side table in the uh, sort of oriental Japanese style. I'm going to try and make this. That's possibly like the rising sun. These are the other options of the infill. So it's off to the workshop. So first I started to uh, use mark some templates out using uh, some spare 12 mm MDF. Here I'm just using a, a plastic edge banding just to create some curves. Uh, basically trying to follow all the, the drawing that I've done. So once I've marked out the uh, templates, I softened the bandsaw and basically just cutting them out. I then uh, went to the spindle sander and mm -hmm. used that to sand to the lines and did that with all the templates. I started this project uh, before I built the sanding room so that's why uh, I'm at the doorway of the workshop that goes to the garden. The first template is for the legs. Yep. Plenty of pound sanding needed to be done as well. This is my version of a flexible sanding block, basically just a thin piece of ply with sandpaper glue and some handles super glued at each end. You would be able to sort of move it around the curves, convex and concave. As you'll see, there's two of these sanding blocks. One's a, an 80 grit and the other's a 120 grit. Quite a bit of sanding, quite a few templates to make. At least it's a sunny day. I'm going to use these reclaimed pine boards to uh, make a prototype or uh, make it in or try to make it in some decent wood. So I am using the templates to uh, mark out the pieces on the pine board, try and nest them all in. As you can hear, the fire weather is broken, it's raining like that outside. So, onto the bounce sort to sew them out. Here I'm using masking tape and uh, super glue to attach the templates to the component, individual components. Then we're going to go on to the uh, router table and using a pattern bit, cut them to shape.
hands on the microsoft as uh, when i tried it with the router table it broke out separate the template from the component repeat a few times then that's all the pieces complete for the legs i'm using some uh, 3v2 or 2v3 stud work to be honest here i am just marking out using the templates so on to a length on the microsaw on the plane of thickness to flatten them square them up and uh, take them to thickness Time to start the joinery. I've left the legs square and that's hopefully going to make it look a bit more straightforward. So the first joint is going to be a bridle joint and that's going to be at the top of the leg and that will fit the top rail. And she's like the waist. I probably shouldn't have had the camera on the uh, workbench. Sorry about the shake. or bridle joint. That one for top. So the challenge is this uh, crossbar here, whether it's just tenoned in like that or it's a through tenon like that I think that's what I'm going to go with so it's going to be sort of a bit of a curved mortise which is quite interesting uh, I've still got to shape the legs I'm thinking it's, it's easier to work with the legs while they're in a uniform shape rather than having all the pretty curves on them and like and uh, the bottom one do something similar uh, I might have to change that drop to match there I think so I'll probably just scribe that to around about the same Here I'm using the mortising machine to uh, start creating the mortises. I'll go straight through and then shape them to the, uh, the curve with the chisel afterwards.
see from the side shots here, I've actually drawn the path of uh, the way that I want the mortise to go. So I just want to line up my chisel with them lines and tap away. For the lower rails, they just need a little bit of uh, fettling, so I'm using the, the spoke shave. and it should be square. And a bit of sanding to just get right into the uh, corners just to finish them off. Alpha the uh, side rails or stretches, I'm not quite sure what they're really called. Uh, first, mark them out. I'm putting an off cut into uh, the bridle joint to uh, give it a bit of protection and so when I'm chopping away, I don't collapse it. And it's the saw. And chisel. testing along the way. Then it's done. For the lower side rails as well, I need doing. A few mortises that need chopping. So it's now time to uh, profile these legs onto the bamboo. So we go. Attach the templates in the usual way with the masking tape and super glue and then onto the router table. My router bearings are going in this, it sounds awful. Finish the routing, a bit of a clean up, and put the pieces together. <laughs> 